everybody, welcome back to Crash Play Gaming. I am your host, Crash, and we are taking a look at one of my favorite decks of the single prize variety, the Ancient Vox deck, which is really good. These matchups were really fun to watch, kind of infuriating and fun. They were really good matches, man. I hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and get into the deck list. All right, taking a look back here at the Ancient Roaring Moon with the Vengeance Fleeting Attack does 70 damage plus 10 more damage for each Ancient card in your discard pile for two Darkness Energy, which isn't too bad and the rest of the deck here is ways to set that up we have radiant greninja helps get some energy in the discard i will say radiant greninja is a liability in this deck it does have a one retreat cost but towards the end of the game you kind of start to run a little bit low on energies if you're not very careful with your resources and greninja can get you stuck sometimes and you'll see that in this video at the very end so keep that in mind we also have a new ancient pokemon walking wake here we're not going to be attacking with this. It does not replace Coridon completely, but it does replace Coridon in the fact that it has a one retreat cost because, you know, old ancient box Coridon could attack, but you didn't really use Coridon that much to attack because the attack was so weak. And it had a two retreat cost, making it really tough to get stuck with in the active. But Walking Wake only has one retreat cost, which is good, which is consistent with Fluttermane with the one retreat cost. And then we also have one copy of Great Tusk to help us win out games which you'll see at the end of this video as well, which I, you know, not any spoilers, but you'll see how it could have happened. All right, to round out the deck, we have two counter catchers. We can get behind sometimes, or we want to get behind sometimes so that we can use counter catcher. We are a single price deck. The only way our opponent can take a two price turn is with ancient, not ancient, uh, iron hands or like Sableye taking two KOs or whatever. Um, there is secret box in the deck, which from NAIC is, seems to be like one of the better ace specs in this kind of deck allowing us to discard three cards from our hand and getting an item tool and supporter and stadium card from our deck which is really good for this deck there are a lot of useful items that we have earthen vessel getting us some energy and discarding four nest balls two copies of ultra balls i think i may uh want to do three but i didn't know what to cut really uh, one pal pad four pokey gears as well to get us our supporters and then we are playing a couple stadiums here artisan and pokestop Another superior energy retrieval is here as well to get it back for at most four darkness energies. We are playing seven uh, darkness energies. And then we got some different supporters than what you might think. Where you think we're only playing ancients? No, we're playing a penny. Penny is to help us pick up Pokemon that get stuck. So Great Tusks, Greninjas, those are Pokemon that get stuck. Or Walking Wakes, usually it's what we do. Or if we have a heavily damaged um, uh, Roaring Moon, you could pick it up. I mean, Penny is useful in this deck. We also have a Boss's Orders. Another way to not have to utilize counter catcher. You can replace uh, ca un boss's orders with another counter catcher, but there are a lot of matches where you're just ahead the entire time. So maybe a boss's orders can finish out the game for you. So that's why that's in there. Of course, we have the four Explorer's Guidance and four Professor Sadas. And then we have a sneaky copy of a Research. Could be a really good supporter in certain situations when your hand is just dead and you can just get rid of all the cards. So that's why that is in there. And of course, four Ancient Booster captures, Capsules. Captures. Four ancient bridge to captures so that we can have plus 60 HP on our own moves, putting them up to 200. But that is the deck. It'll be in the description down below. Let's go watch it in action. All right, going up against Lugia here. Oh, I'm using the wrong screen. Let's switch that. Here we go. That looks much better. Got all the stuff in the way. All right, going up against Lugia. Got a walking link in the active, which is whatever. And a couple earthen vessels. Nest balls good. Get a screen ninja. Got an Explorer's Guidance, which can hopefully get us some Roaring Moons down, and we can start doing our stuff. And we'll see how good of a turn one this Lugia deck has. Because, man, sometimes they can have some turns, and you're just like, ain't no way I'm coming back from this. <laughs> sometimes they can do that. Just depends. But we'll see. They do get a, a basic Lugia down, which is good for them. Mesa Goza, good for both of us. See if they flip heads or tails. Okay, so they finally decided to play down their Lugia V. And finally Mesa Goza here. Okay, that took them a long time to figure out what to do. But it's okay. They're just weighing their options. They do flip tails. Good for us, bad for them. Hopefully we can flip heads. Which would be awesome. That guarantees us at least one Roaring Moon. I would love a guaranteed Roaring Moon. Now they're weighing their options once more. Mist Energy onto the Lugia. Fair, fair, fair. All right, we top deck a boss. 
Doesn't really do much. We're not going to be able to attack yet. We don't want to boss Lugia in the active anyways. Flipping the Mesagoza. We both flip Tails, so fine. I'm going to actually start with a Greninja. We got all our... We got one Roaring Moon prized. And we can Earthen Vessel that guy away. Grab some energy. And let's go ahead and conceal cards. We could play Fluttermane to prevent them from using their abilities, but they just have to boss around it, basically. So I'm actually just going to Earthen Vessel that away as well. Grab more energy. And then we're going to Explore's Guidance. For Artisan. Pokegear, I suppose. Uh, maybe Sada. Artisan helps them get Mencinos, but this also helps us get Roaring Moons, and we need to set the Roaring Moons up, so for sure doing that. Attached to Roaring Moon, and then we can pass the turn. Um, next turn we can Professor Sada to Walking Wake and Roaring Moon. If they don't KO the Walking Wake, which they may not, judging off their first turn. But if they don't bounce the Artisan, we also have another out to another Roaring Moon, which we desperately need. But Pokestop could also get us there as well. Do get Sincino down. I mean, it does make it a little bit harder to KO, but we're okay with this. Artisan going to go get them another Mincino, I'm sure, which is fine. I mean, we, we, win the, we win the prize trade at some point. They have to attack with Lugia. There's a Luminion, so that does get them a supporter. Hopefully not an Iono. I would hate for them to get an Iono. They're playing Iono Sleeve, so they do like Iono. But I would not... Frick! I don't want them to have an Iono. I have two Sadas in my hand. Not anymore, though. No Sada for me. Okay, game plan's changed a little bit. Uh, no energy to attack next turn. We do have Explorer's Guidance, though, which could possibly get us an energy. We have Secret Box, which can get us a supporter, actually. Yeah, we might play Secret Box here. Get a supporter out. Uh, I didn't see what they did. Capturing Aroma. They got another Lugia V. Missed energy onto Sincino. They could retreat into Lugia V here and do their Read the Wind attack. And we may or may not be able to do 220. Get rid of one Occupy, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we're quite a bit off. Let's go ahead and Artisan. Let's get out some more moons. Get out all the moons. Okay. Well, they only have bench base for one Occupy, so actually, I don't care that this walk I prefer walking wake to get KO'd so with that said we don't have to use secret box yet so we can just do another explorer's guidance I suppose um this and retrieval seem better we're gonna spread the energy out don't need to use Greninja and we will pass the turn. Um, there's no way they can get two Archeops. Well, I guess they have... If they have Turo or Penny, they can get two Archeops into play. But they only have one Archeops in the discard anyways. I want them to get only one Archeops in play. Another Cincino. Another Iono. That's okay with me. The hand wasn't great. We did have Secret Box, but now we may get into something better. So this is better. We can Conceal Cards. We can Sada. How many energies are in the discard too? We can Conceal Cards. We can Sada. We can Earth and Vessel away. Another Flutter Main. Another Read the Wind. I think what they really want me to do is um, 
get a knockout so that they can put down two Archeops. But we're not going to do that. Just yet. Mm, there's no reason to artisan. I don't want to take a KO. <laughs> I really, really don't. I want them to KO Walking Wake. I want them to be bench locked with only one Archeops. They have two in the discard now. There's Lugia V Star. Are they going to do Summoning Star and only get one Archeops? V Guard Energy. Okay, Capturing Aroma, sure. Flipping Tails, that can get them an Iron Hands at some point. They can take two prizes. There it is. I think we're going to Penny up our Greninja to remove that liability. This following turn. We don't have to use Sada next turn, so I think that would be a good play to remove a two prize liability off the board. Let's use Conceal Cards one more time. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I'm barely doing two hundred damage. I guess now's the time to get a hit onto this Lugia. Um, do we need to pal pad? No. Yeah, I'm only doing 200 damage. If they KO the Walking Wake, I'm only doing 210. So now is the best time to K to get a hit on the Lugia, at least, so we can KO it next turn, so we're not down, like, two prizes. Um, oh, they play double turbo. Okay. I mean, now they can take the kill. I think we're going to poke a stop next turn. Oh, they do Summoning Star now for the one Archeops. Okay. I like this. I like the what Archeops. Let's see who they Primal Turbo 2. I mean, if we top deck boss, we can KO this Archeops. We've, we're down one Poke Gear. They attach to Lugia. Oh man, if we can get a boss's orders, this would be amazing. Oh, we don't need boss's orders. We have Counter Catcher. Bruh. <laughs> Sick. Okay, we got Counter Catcher. We are going to get this Archeops out of here. See ya. Now they're going to have a much harder time powering up their stuff. And um, Roaring Moon off the prizes. Roaring Moon off the prizes so we can Sada next turn if we don't get Ionode. Oh, heck yeah. We're rolling now. We can Super Rod back in both Roaring Moons and an Energy. Alright, let's hope we don't get Ionode. I'm glad they finally used Summoning Star. I think they should have waited to use Summoning Star, to be honest. I really think they should have waited to use Summoning Star. Okay. But maybe they think they can just win with pressure. I don't know. Ancient Booster Capsule doesn't matter unless they get another double turbo on here, which I don't think they will. Um, let's poke a stop first because I don't want to mill the stuff I'm about to put back in. Of course I mill my boss's orders, but that's okay. Let's Super Rod, Double Roaring Moon, Energy. We have Energy Retrieval as well. Uh, oh, I was like, where's my other Roaring Moon? I was like, no! Okay. Sada, get these going. Nest Ball. Another Moon, of course. Um, do I have Attachment for Turn? I do. And we got three energy in the discard. Don't necessarily need to do that, but three energy in the discard seems good enough for me to retrieval. So we'll get rid of these guys. Uh, 
and then we can attach here and we're doing 240 let's attach to the active and then we are going to since we're doing 240 there's two soda in there we're gonna pow pad back into soda and do 220 taking the KO here so we need six um six guys in the uh, discard to get the KO next turn super prizes are okay those are good so we play we're gonna lose this Roaring Moon so that's two so then we need four we play Sada then we need three secret box can get the booster capsule in the discard that means we would need two hmm poke stop can get some more in the discard Possibly. What do you get me again? Pokemon Tools, Supporter, Stadium. That's it. Tool, Supporter, and a Stadium, a Serena. Gonna discard some stuff to draw some stuff. Alright, they got rid of the Iron Hands. Which could have taken two prizes on the Walking Wake. And actually, we also have to pay attention to Legacy Energy. I don't think we've seen it yet. Oh, they're gonna ditch the Poking Stop, though. Poking the pokey stop. They're gonna dish the pokey stop. Well, maybe they're not. Maybe they want to use it. Okay, they do ditch it, which is good. It's smart of them to ditch it, for sure. All right, we can also counter catcher for a KO on Luminion as well. We can't counter catcher. I'm lying. Okay, it's a little bit safe to play Radiant Greninja down again. <sighs> Radiant Greninja is such a liability because they can just boss it up, but they're not going to stall me. Well, they could. What do I do here? It would be nice to draw and then secret box. Losada. It's okay. Okay. Catch the energy. We need three in the discard. I have three in hand. Let's get rid of these. Let's go one, two, three. And we're actually gonna leave the Sada in the deck. So we're gonna get a nest ball capsule. Sorry, should I leave research in the deck? Yeah, because if they own me two energy go in. Yeah. Booster on the active. Burn the nest ball. We don't need it anymore. I don't think I want another Roaring Moon in play just yet. And we hit exactly for 280 on this Lugia V-Star. We got there. Took the KO. But now we're going down to one prize. And I think Blood Moon can attack for free. But we KO the Blood Moon in return. I actually don't think they could do anything about this. I think we just win here. We KO whatever they bring up. There's nothing for them to stall unless they have a way to get Greninja out of my prizes. I mean, out of my discard. So I think we squeaked by the Lugia here. I wouldn't say squeaked by. We, we won by a couple. Of, oh, Legacy Energy. Well, maybe you should have put that on Sencino, but Legacy Energy only takes one prize away. But all we need is one prize. So I think I've mapped that one up pretty well, making them get that one Archeops and then getting rid of it, because now their deck's just kind of weak sauce. And we hit for 300 on the Blood Moon Ursaluna, taking the KO and taking our last prize card. Legacy en Energy only preventing one. And there is a dub for the Roaring Moon Ancient Box deck that has been revived. Ooh.
Ooh, raging bolt, huh? Pretty good. Okay. Oh, uh, we're gonna get turned. They just pass. That means we explore his guidance and see what we can get. Ugh, hate to lose a rod here. Do we have energy for Greninja? We do. I mean, I could just take the rod and bring back. No, I like having double roaring moon. It's all right. We can lose it. Let's throw down the Greninja. Throw down the moon. And then we can conceal cards that energy away. Maybe we get one more. We do. And we will place this on the active. It doesn't matter if we get KO'd because we have Sada. And then we'll end the turn. We don't actually have much going on after that. We can Sada this... Uh, Serena. Ooh. Discarding three cards. Oh, this is a Reggie Drago deck. Okay. Reggie Drago. Another moon. So now I'm not in a rush to play Sada now, so let's just do this and another Explorer's Guidance. Get some more stuff in the discard. We'll take these. I can actually just attack now, so... Uh, that's... Well, do I draw more or do I attack? How much am I doing? 120? Well, we two-shot. We do two-shot. I can Secret Box for an item next turn. I mean, if they don't get anything down, we win, so I guess attacking here is good. Uh, Secret Box next turn can get us a Earthen Vessel, get a couple energies down. There's the Ultra Ball to finally get Reggie Drago, Switch, and Boss, though. I guess they do want the Raging Bolt to go down. Oh, they get an Ogre Bond. I guess they have Grass Energy to help draw, so they'll get at least to see one more card, or Serena. Energy Switch is good to see go away. They've lost two energy switches now. No, they lost switch and energy switch. Okay. Oh, this is not good for our opponent. There's an Ultra Ball. There's a Reggie Drago, I think. Get rid of V-Star and another energy. You know what? It's okay. They're getting rid of these energy switches. Reggie Drago V-Star's ability will bring them back for them to use at some point. So they're, they, they shouldn't be too worried about it. Flutter Mane is a good discard. So we'll secret box, get rid of these. And then we'll go grab Sada, I suppose. This, this. Pokestop? I mean, what do we have to lose now besides supporters and Pokemon? Yeah. Um, we're actually just going to burn the booster capsule for now. Get a couple energy. And then we can conceal cards away one energy so that Sada can accelerate two energies now. Now that these Roaring Moons are up. Ready to go. Oh, oh that would have been a good Pokestop turn. Oh, man. Pokestop. Okay, that's just as good. And we'll hit for 190. Now we're going to be Pokestopping away. Hopefully I can find some cards to discard these Pokemon in my hand. Like an Ultra Ball. Nest Ball is good. That gives us our last Roaring Moon. Ancient Booster Capsule is good at some point. That puts us... Well, it's not really that good, to be honest. All these dragons... Oh, Noivern. We need our boss. I don't know if I... Ooh, crap. I don't know if I want to Pokestop anymore, to be honest. They have Noivern in the discard, and that's the card they need to win this matchup, really. And then our next best hope is Great Tusk. Another Reggie Drago. And Iono. Okay, I don't mind this Iono. This gets us closer to boss. If we can KO one Reggie Drago... There it is. Okay. So game plan now is KO one Reggie Drago. They're not attacking yet. And then an Ogre Pot. Uh, I hope I'm doing enough damage. I don't think I am though. I think I'm too short. Three short of a 220. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm too short of an Ogre Pond and I'm three short of a Reggie Drago V. Pokestop does have the chance to get us there. But we don't know for sure. Double Nest Ball. So we're definitely going to do this and grab our last Roaring Moon out. Then we Pokestop because we need to get crap in the discard. Okay. I mean, <laughs> doesn't really help us that much. But we can stick... I, uh, man. I guess there is a sense to bring back the Sadas. Because we're not KOing. We can play the Booster Capsule now. They can just Legacy Star for a Switch. Oh, they don't have Switch. I thought they... Oh, there it is. They can definitely just Legacy Star for a Switch. I don't think there's a reason to boss yet. They don't have Fire Energy in the discard, which is good, but it could get discarded with Legacy Star. There's the other Reggie Drago. Scoop up Cyclone. Okay, fine. It, that's perfectly fine. But now we have to boss and counter catcher for game on these Ogre Ponds. There's a research. More stuff going away. There's a fire energy. And I don't think they should have replayed the Ogre Pond, but whatever. Good energy retrieval because we don't have much. Radiant Charizard's not that bad of a thing. Let's see what let's see what they actually use here. Oh, Dragapult. Interesting. They chose to use Dragapult to get the KO. They're going after Greninja, which is perfectly fine. So now we're back up to 190. Which still isn't quite enough to get a KO, but whatever. Pokestop might get us there. Greninja's going to give us a few cards. Top deck of Pokegear. Actually, I prefer Pokegear because that can get me a Sada most likely, and it does. And then we'll play the Sada. Get these energies. Okay, I need a way to discard those. Let's Pokestop. Maybe we can get some energy in the discard. What are we hitting? 210 exactly. So counter catchers would work at some point. Let's Earth and Vessel get rid of this. Although, well, let's leave one in the deck. We'll attach. 230. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't use Dragapult. We have boss in hand now, so we can KO an Ogre Pond. But it actually might be easier to get Counter Catcher. Oh, I got rid of two Counter Catchers. I don't think we play a third. Oh, no. No. And I already used my Pal Pad. No! Let's see what they do. Maybe they... Maybe they do... Um, Dragapult's attack again. Or something else not Noivern. Oh no! I don't think I have... They could also hard retreat this Reggie Drago. And that would be a bummer. I don't know. Okay. That's why I left an energy in the deck and I still have Sadas. Or his guidance is good. Let's see what they're doing. Okay, covert flighting, fine. Yeah! 
dang it, guys! This is bad! We only have one boss! Ah. We only have a boss. Let's see the... Okay, I'm gonna play down this Flutter main so we can go into... Well... They can just Legacy Star for a boss, can't they? Yeah. They can. Then in the deck out a little more. I mean, it's okay that they go after that the Flutter Mean does this. Well, actually, they can't Legacy Star. Okay. I'm gonna throw down the Flutter Mean just to throw them off a little bit. Man, I. Oh, got rid of. Two of my counter catchers. When did I do that? I guess during some explorer's guidance. It's a little bit of a pain, I'm not gonna lie. It hurts. It does hurt. <laughs> hurts a lot. There's a boss. I mean, boss goes and Kazo's something, but then they just come back up with the stinking Reggie Dragos, and they're both powered up. So I wasn't fast enough. Just gonna pass here. Oh man, I'm so upset. This match it this matchup is winnable. Cause like here's the turn where I could have counter captured. for KO, and then follow up with a boss. But no. But no. So mad. How much? I can't even tell what damage I'm doing. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 28. 290, taking out the Rage Drago. I don't know what's in my prizes. Maybe I play a third counter catcher. Maybe. Nope. If I do, I don't know. And I'm so bad. So, so bad. So bad, folks. I'm so bad. <laughs> this matchup is winnable. Had I known what I was doing, I may have kept the counter catcher at some point. Because I think I, I think I got rid of counter catchers with my explorer's guidances. If I'm being honest. No. Nope. So it had to be explorer's guidance, otherwise it wouldn't. There's one counter catcher gone with an Explorer's Guidance. I think I did three Explorer's Guidance this match. Hmm. Wait, where did I use my second Explorer's Guidance? Or counter catcher thing. What? Here it is. No, there's no explorer's guidance gone there. What? When did I lose my explorer's guidance? We don't care about an Iono. I'm just letting them play. <laughs> when did I lose my other one? Counter catcher was in my opening hand.
There's a Sada. Okay. Secret box. That's where I lost it. Secret box. I used it on secret box. Hmm. You know. Great Tusk can win me the game. Go down on there to survive and pass. I can't use Pokestop. I don't really know. I think I have a nest ball, but the odds of milling Great Tusk are a little bit weird. I don't want to mill a Great Tusk. They use their V-Star power, which is good. Ugh, what'd they get back with their V-Star power? Dang it. Uh, V-Star power, they put back Iono Super Rod. Lost vacuum? Sure. Oh, they get rid of the stadium. Fair. So we still have one, two, three, four. Still got a good amount of turns. Great Tusk might be able to do this. Let's play Pokegear. I have another Sada. I don't have a way to find Great Tusk, but I have two energy in there. Earth and Vessel Superior. It's okay that this guy goes down. No great tusk. Well, crap. Dang it. We didn't draw the great tusk and I can't. Ah, I have to save the last Sada for the turn we play, for the turn we attack with him. And I have to, I have superior energy retrieval so I can get energy back. Oh my gosh, I can win. I need to top deck him now. He needs to be the... Does he need to be the top deck now? I think I can't play Sada if I don't have cards in the deck, so he needs to be the top two cards. If he's the top two cards, we could win here. Great Tusk. Oh, Pokegear. <laughs> no. Wait, one more turn. I don't think I can play Sod if I don't have cards to draw. Crap, now I don't have a retreat. We drew it! But I don't have a retreat for Greninja! Frick! Oh my gosh, I should have attached the energy to Greninja! No, the misplays, guys! Ugh. That would have won the game! No! This was such a... This loss was my fault completely. Losing the counter catchers. I had Great Tusk win right there. Oh, well, guys, that's how you play against Reggie Draco. I am... Oh, that was bad. Anyways, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching me be a winner and a loser on my own accord. I just should have known the matchup better for that last one. It was... Ah! It was a good game, though. I do appreciate my opponent. It was a really good game. They were able to stick it out to the very end and get the dub there because of some dumb plays I made. But I could have won. I had it. It was there. I just didn't see it. Anyways, we'll see you next time on Crash Blade Gaming.